I mean, I believe with most everything we do, um, there's always a goal. So I just didn't want to build race engines to build engines. I wanted to build ones that, that, that have won. You know, I think to date we've won 1,700 races. My name is Gary Espinosa and I'm the owner of Larry's Auto Machine. Uh, primary role is performance engine building. Circle track engines, drag race engines, um, offshore boats, big blocks, small blocks, turbocharge. We kind of have two divisions within one building. One is domestic, one is foreign. Boring, honing, decking, valve seat machining, cylinder head resurfacing, dyno testing. You know, it's basically a, a one-stop shop. Business um, was initially established in 1960, started working there in 1988, became the owner in 1991 and have owned it ever since. Years back when Paul Newman was alive, we had the opportunity to do some of his GT1 engines for a few seasons and that was, that was a really neat you know, engine build combination. It was a small block Chevy platform, was 358 cubic inches on our dyno here. Um, with the rules that we had to follow, which was no bigger than an 850 carburetor, it made 869 horsepower. So we were pretty, pretty ecstatic about that. At that point, the one main machine that we were using was our F68A. When you're going for every last quarter of a horsepower, the, the small details become big and you have to look for an advantage in a lot of small areas and I believe that that's what the Rottler equipment does for us. My name is Anthony Franco. My job here is to run as many pieces of equipment as possible. <laughs> and uh, Rottler equipment makes it easy to do that. We own a F68A, an H85 cylinder hone, a S85A resurfacer, an SG9HB, and a EM69HB. I've had days where I'm honing a block, decking a block and boring a block while doing a valve job and the five axis is running in the background porting a cylinder head. You know for for most of what we've done over the years you know the two barrel circle track engines has been the majority so I would say in that venue ring seal valve seat roundness just getting everything, every last area as accurately as we can. Um, obviously in the two barrel venue, the carburetor's a restrictor. And uh, so we have to find other areas of doing machine work to be able to make power. No cylinder head machining here is done without measuring every seat for run out. I don't think that's very common. Um, it's something that we do here. And that's just, you know, one example of many of the, of the accuracy. You know, our SG9 will cut a valve seat that's two inches in diameter. It'll cut it with three tenths of a thousandth run out, which is just super, super accurate. You know, the standard's being pushed, you know, higher and higher by all engine builders. I mean, it's become beneficial to us to just, you know, be able to use the platform that we have, which is the Rottler equipment. So this is our F68A here. We've had for about 19 years, machine number 001. Um, it's had the update to bring it up to all the most current software, motors, encoders. We're very happy with the machine. We do all our block sleeving, our decking, our boring, lift of bore correction, bell housing, resurfacing, stroker clearancing. Great machine. Very, very repeatable. Right now it's actually roughing out the cylinders. We'll bore it out and we're going to put this dry sleeve in from Darton, taking it from a... Uh, three inch 790 bore to a four and an eighth inch bore. So this is our uh, SG9 HP. We do all our valve jobs on here. This machine um, works great, holds really good concentricity. Um, cutting valve seats, we're able to maintain better than the industry standard. Some of what we do is very small valve stem diameter. When you machine a valve seat with a smaller stem diameter, you get more deflection, so it becomes harder to get around valve seat, and the SG9 just does a, just an incredible job. You know, one of, the, one of the biggest things for us is that, you know, we were trained how to do machine work in inches, 
I don't come from, you know, an engineering background. I haven't been to college for it. So when it became available to buy a machine that could read in inches, it was just easy for us to be able to adapt to that. None of us here in the shop had any experience with CNC uh, porting. Um, so when we found out Rottler's Windows-based programming, inches, we were able to adapt to it very quickly because of the user-friendly software. This is our EM69HP. Uh, this is new to us this year. We upgraded to a bigger tool changer, 23 pocket, carousel type, and bigger motor, um, and some bigger fixturing on the fourth access for doing block work, uh, closed decking and dry decking blocks. And then this machine will allow us to put it in there, make the pieces for the dry decking, and machine the blocks to do the dry decking inserts. Very easy to go in and manipulate a port that we didn't like um, or wanted to make changes for a different application, bigger, uh, change the area. Very, very easy and user-friendly. Getting a question answered quickly when we have a, a problem where you need a solution is everything. You know, for us, it makes sense to keep coming back. You know, and, and aside from that, the, the equipment itself is, is extremely quality. I find it to be, and I think that the price point is, is very good for, for the equipment. I'd like to say in honesty and truth, you know, my business would not be where it is right now and be successful without Rottler.